Uh, what this will be is a short video of graphing a function and its inverse. This is going to relate to Chapter 9 in our Math 105 course. Now, here we see a typical function. And remember, this could be stated as y. In fact, let me put a y there. So y equals 2x plus 1. So they're asking us to graph this function. Now, as we graph that function, we know that our y-intercept is a positive 1. So we put a dot right there. And our slope is a positive 2 over 1. So we're going to do our run first, which is a 1. And then our rise, which is a 2. And this gives us a series of points. And then I draw the line. So this line is the representation of this function, which is, in, in a sense, slope-intercept form. Now, when we're asked to find the inverse of a function, we want to see first if it's a one-to-one -one relationship. And that is, would it pass the vertical line test? Bringing that vertical line over the face of the graph, and it intersects the black line in only one place at a time. So it is a function. And then we want to know if it's a one-to-one -one function in terms of our horizontal line that we're going to bring down. And that's called the horizontal line test. I didn't draw a great line there. But yes, it does pass. So that since it passes the horizontal line test, and it's a one-to-one, -one, it has an inverse. So let's take a look at finding the inverse of this. So we start off with y equals 2x plus 1. And now what we're going to do is switch around the x and the y. So this x is going to go here, and the y then goes there. And now we solve for the y. Well, the first thing we do is bring over our 1. So that becomes x minus 1. And then that still equals 2y. And then we divide everything by 2. And we get y equals x minus 1 over 2. And then we put it in inverse notation. So f inverse is equal to this, but I'm going to write this as in slope intercept. So it'll be 1 half x minus 1 half. I just separated these. Now I have this all over there too. I wanted you to see where it came from. Now when we graph this second function here, you will note then our y-intercept is now a negative one-half, which is right about there. And our slope is 1 over 2, or one-half. So our y-intercept here, we're going to go over 1. I'm sorry, over 2, up 1. Over 2, up 1. Over 2, up 1. I'm just getting some more points. So then this red line is the inverse function of this. And I've also drawn in here the axis of symmetry, which is y equals x. 
And again, this is a 1x, and our y-intercept is 0. Meant to put a plus there. And you might say, since none is written, that indicates b is going to be 0. It goes through the origin. And it's just 1 over 1. So it goes over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. And it's just this line right here. So you see it divides your graph into two parts. Now, an interesting thing about this function and its inverse, and that is if we take a paper, uh, this is a transparency, actually. And if I fold it right along this axis of symmetry here, this is what happens. I folded my transparency right across this axis of symmetry. And what do you see? Well, the lines of the graph line up on top of each other. So in a sense, if you fold the page over the axis of symmetry, you see that the graphs are a reflection of each other along this axis of symmetry. And then this is what illustrates function and its inverse. Okay, we'll keep it a little short and hopefully this is useful.